Okay, everyone. Uh, today we are going through our last element of multimedia. The last element of multimedia is about interactivity. Interactivity comes in different uh, like shapes. Like first of all, your games, video games, are basically interactivity. Your mobile applications are interactivity your uh chaos that you see like uh, um atm machines are basically interactivity so these all things are interactivity and one thing that is very a common part of interactivity is the website so we will learn how to create a website but anyone that who don't have any sort of background of creating a website or anyone who don't have any sort of background of using coding uh, it will become a little hard for them to create a website therefore there are online web builders like Wix WordPress Joomla so these are basically for those people who don't have any background of creating a website or using coding to create a website because usually if you are creating a website professionally, you should know coding, HTML, XML, JavaScript, so these kind of things. If you have never worked on these things, so you have online tools like Wix, WordPress, Joomla. Apart from that, there are some software that don't use uh, like more like coding a lot something like adobe xd adobe xd is a software that is a user interface and user experience based software that does not use a lot of coding so if you don't know coding you can use adobe xd or adobe muse but adobe muse is obsolete there is no new version only old version are there apart from that there is like there is Adobe uh, Dreamweaver, but Dreamweaver is mostly used with the coding. If you don't know the coding, you can switch to Design View, but Design View is not that uh, like powerful. So it's basically for coding purposes, the Adobe Dreamweaver. So to avoid that, Adobe XD is used where you can make the interfaces like a user interfaces or user experiences using Adobe XD and converting that and or transferring that to the coder so coders will convert that into a working website or mobile application but for this uh, lesson we will use wix.com which is a very commonly used web designing online uh, builder here you don't need to know anything about the website uh, like coding only thing that you should know is how a website is structured and what a website looks like in the end so first thing you will see here when you will go to wix.com that you have a website uh, option okay create a website you're proud of and then you know all these kind of uh, like different options here and one thing that you will notice here is uh, get started so you just have to press the get started button as soon you will click on it it will take you to the next page now next page you can enter your username or id okay if you already have it but you're doing for the first time so what you can do you can use your facebook account you can use your uh, google account or you can use your apple id to create a website okay so what i will do here is that i will sign up and make my own account and this is most probably you will be doing so if you click uh, here so you can uh, put your email address here whatever you uh, you have okay so I will put my gmail email address here okay and then it will ask me again for the email address just to make sure I'm writing my email correctly. Okay. And that's what I have here. Now for the password, you can create, you can put any one of the password here. 
uh, password here. So let me just move it out and put the password to just write the password here. So now I have entered my password two times just to make sure I'm entering the right password and then I will press the sign up button here. Okay. Uh, okay. So now it is saying the email address which I have written here already exists. So let me use a different email address here. Let's check here what I have. So I will write here my UCB email address. Okay, now if you want to save it on your system, it's up to you. If you don't want, you can press never. So I will just uh, write here never. Now, uh, it will just say my, your account is set up. So let's start with it. So you have two options. If you already know how to start without uh, going through a wizard. So this is a wizard basically. It will ask you a few questions and you have to answer it. Based on your answer, it will complete your website. It will create your website. But if you don't want that, you, will, you want to make your website uh, by your own without answering a, a, any question manually you want to create so you can just press skip now manual website creation doesn't mean that you should know coding manual website creation means you will drag and drop whatever you want and then create your website from that drag and drop thing it's just like photoshop you are making some uh, like a design in the photoshop so drag and drop and your page is completed so for that purpose, you can skip it. But if you want automatic creation, then you just press let's do it. Okay. So now it will ask you a few questions. Let's see. Uh, I want to create this website for myself. So this website is for me or my business. Or I want to create a website for a client. Someone is paying me to create this website. I want to create a website for a company I work for. I'm an employee in a company and I'm building a site for them. I want to create this website some for someone else. I'm helping somebody with their website. So any one of these you can choose. So maybe I'm creating my website like for myself. I'm creating this website for myself. So this is for my business maybe. So I will choose this one. Okay. Now it should be a dash website. Which website? A business, an online store, a music, a designer, a blog, a beauty wellness, a uh, uh, portfolio and CV, restaurant and food, and even photography, a fitness, or some other. So maybe I'm doing a website for, I'm a musician, or maybe I'm doing for a music. So I would choose it's a music website. Okay. Now, I want to create a website for myself. It should be a music site, and I have built sites professionally, created many websites, built a few websites, or never done this before. So maybe if you're using doing this for the very first time, so may, you will choose never done this before. Okay. Now it will move you here. Now what you can do is that there is a let Wix ADI create a website for you. Now what is an ADI? ADI is uh, artificial intelligence based web web developer tool. Okay. And uh, if you use that, it will create the website after giving them for uh, some answers and your website will be ready and images everything the website will choose by itself but if you don't want this and you want a website uh, like a uh, you want a website editor just like what i mentioned before when i told you if you will press skip it will move to this part this will create your own stunning website in an editor you can drag and drop some items use them and it will be uh, edited okay so this is if you want to use this. Now, I want to. I don't want this. I want to work. Uh, I just want to create build all uh, based on ADI. So it is much more easier. 
In our next classes, we will use this part, but for today, we will use the ADI. So I will say, okay, let's start now. So I will go to the ADI and it will start with some questions. Now, remember, I selected the first thing was that I am making the website for myself, for my music. So every question it will ask me is based on those answers which I given before. So it is asking me, enter your business or website type. So as I selected music, so the suggestions is based on the music. I'm a DJ or I'm, uh, I have a recording studio or I'm a musician or I have a rock band or if I'm a hip hop artist. So maybe I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a rock band. So I will select a rock band here. Now, rock band, like for my rock band or I like a rock band. Maybe I like ACDC or Metallica. So I will choose my, uh, I will ma I'm making a website for them as a fan art. Or I have a country rock band, I have alternative rock band, I have a mu uh, blues rock band, or a uh, rock band less landscaping contractor. I am. So maybe I'll just select normal rock band here. Okay, now recommended. These features are suggest like suggestions for you. So what kind of uh, style you want? Okay, like what are, like what are uh, the, the types you want? So... I can select all of them or I can select only one, this one. Because if I, I'm using a video, video will appear like this. If I'm uploading a music, music will appear like this. If I'm using a, uh, like bands in town, so it will give me something like this, like events, like suppose my, my, con my tour dates, so it will be like this. If I, am online, if I have online chat system, it will be like this. So this is just giving me some options. So I will choose all of them because this is what I want actually. So now if I will go down, what else you want to add? Online store? No, I don't want the online store. Booking, maybe if anyone wants uh, my band to perform so they can book online, so I can choose booking. Uh, events, I don't want uh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe events, but actually this is already here, bands in town, so that will work as an events also menus okay i can add menus maybe my website can have menus also subscribe form if they want to subscribe me i don't want on uh, like mainly these things these things i will just keep booking and menus then next you can save it for the next time also by clicking maybe later but we want to create everything so i will press next now and the name uh, add the name of your band Okay, maybe my uh, band name is uh, uh, Metaholic. So I will choose Metaholic. And then I will press next. Now, to import content, copy your, uh, paste your links. So I have to put some of these links here. So let me search if there is any existing uh, page for. Uh, metaholic so I can put it here okay so there is a page for metaholic so I will put it here okay review if you want to review this so you can uh, click on it otherwise you don't need Website, I don't have uh, places, I don't have it, so I will keep it as it is. I will not change anything here. Okay, so I will just press uh, next. Okay. Now, uh, logo. If you want to create a logo, okay, so what I will do, maybe I will download the existing Metaholic uh, logo from somewhere and I can add it there. find it online so I will click it here go to pictures here and see if there is any logo there okay now the issue is that the file I have is a different file format so let's open a Photoshop 
and then adjust the file there that will be much Okay, so here what I will do is that I'll just paste that uh, logo that I got it. I will save it inside my pictures folder, but I will use a PNG format because it's only format that is taking uh, is a PNG. So that's why I have to resave it as it. Now let's see if it appears. Yeah, now it is there. So I will press that. Okay, so now if you want to add your address, you can add any address here. Okay. And fax number, I don't want any fax number here. Or and everything else I have created. So name would be metaholic okay now it's asking me after pressing next it's asking me what kind of theme you want the so rock band should be a little bit dark so i think this is uh, a good theme i can select this one and press continue okay now colors what kind of colors you want the theme from so you can choose your own color theme or you can use uh, like the colors from your logo itself. So use colors from your logo to create a palette for your website. So yes, I have this logo. Okay, so I will uh, press just create this palette here. As soon as I will press it, it will start pulling out the colors from the logo. Done. So I can use all these colors use these colors now pick your favorite home page design so some of the home pages are already given here now what you can do is that uh choose the one that you like so i like this one darkish so i will choose this one okay now these pages are tailored for you you can customize them later so these are some pages which are created okay so if you want you can customize them okay and you can edit them whatever you want and you can do the add okay like suppose if i'll press add page so it will be added so add page add page add add uh instagram i don't want gallery i don't want reviews maybe yeah blank page for example if you want to put a blank page and you want to later on uh, adjust them you can do that okay so after that you can uh do this now once you are done you can just press the edit the uh, site okay so you can just press this button now it is putting everything together and so once you are uh, once it is done it will create a website for you okay now this website is created and it took some of the images okay from the website like from the uh, youtube the YouTube link which I gave, it took some images from the, uh, some videos from there, and it makes some fake, uh, like, uh, like, like concert, uh, like, uh, like the concert to, uh, like tours here. So you can ch change those. These are some images which you can change later on. 
okay so simple what you have to do like suppose i don't like this image so what i can do i can click here okay and then once i will click it here i can click on the image okay so you can see that uh, that image will pop up here now in the image i can do the editing like i can reduce the opacity of the image you can see that or i can decrease uh, increase it okay uh, and while you're working it will keep on saving automatically so it's saying that whenever you do any change it is saved so i'll say okay got it so that means suppose if your computer closes by any time so you don't have to worry about because automatically it changes now let's do one thing let's search for some pictures of metaholic and you can replace these images So I will start looking for images and see what we can use. I'm just downloading the images, then I will come back. Okay. Just what I'm doing is that I'm just saving some images because some of the images here are JPEG, so I have to convert them into JPG actually. So I'm saving them. Because one thing is that it's only it it only takes a PNG for some reason, so that's why I have to save them all as a PNG file. That's what I'm doing right now. It might take a little while. Okay, so mostly it is done. So I will press replace button here. Okay, so when it will, I will press replace button, it will ask me to upload my image. So uh, upload, or you can choose from the existing images. Now, these images are just showing you uh, sample images, but these are not uh, like these does not belong to my band. So I have to upload media okay upload from the computer and then what many images you have here that you have uh, i have created i will choose from them okay like suppose this one 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 and this one and i will upload them as soon i will upload it it will make a new section site files and in the site files, it will give me all the files that I have uploaded. So maybe I want this image. And I will press apply. So what will do, it will do is that it will remove the existing image and it will put this image here. Similarly, if I will go down, I maybe I don't want this. So what I can do, I can just click it here. Okay. And press it again until like you can you have to press it two or three times until you get to this because what happens is that when you click on any part it take you to the design first like suppose if i click it here it will take me to the design of this whole page so you can edit the page information okay but what i want to edit is the image so what i need to do once i press this whole thing i have to press the image again then it will move me to the image replace uh, like like replacing option now i can choose replace okay and i can go to my site files and choose some other image maybe this time i want this image and apply so it will put this image here okay if i will go down then i have this so maybe i can replace this one also click it again now replace 
my site files. Okay, maybe I will use this line. So I will have this. Okay. Now these, if you want, you can just click on it. Okay. It will show you here the, the service and everything. But what if you don't want this page? Maybe you uh, you you might realize, okay, maybe I don't want this page. I I added by mistake and I don't want it. So you can still do that, okay? You can uh, press this service list button, okay? And it will give you what you want to remove from here, okay? And, or the best thing is that just click here on these three dots and choose delete option. And then it will say, ask you that, do you really want to remove this selection? I'll say yes. And it, then it will remove that selection now the whole thing is uh, created not this one okay now this is my uh first page after that i have this is home page now that then i have book online so if i will click on uh if i want to go to the uh my website page itself okay like i want to go to my uh, home page or if I want to go to my book online page so I have here pages now if I want to go to the book online so I just click here okay and it will give me all the pages now in book online I have service page okay which is something like this and now if you don't want the service page what you can do is that you can click here okay and you can like like remove it in the settings you can go and you can uh, like remove it like service title or service page or you can remove it or you can edit it the way you want so let's do one thing here let's go back here in the service page okay so what i can do this is go to edit menu okay uh then book online if I'm you, if you're in the book loan line, click it here. Okay, I think the page is not itself included. It's just giving me the option that uh, it can be there. Okay, but it will not show me. Okay, it's just showing that it can be added, so you don't have to worry about this. Now menus, basically, I added the menu. If you remember. But this menu is not the menu on the top. This menu is the restaurant menu. And then the restaurant menus do not have anything to do with the uh, with the tour. Okay, with like with the uh, like rock band. So what you can do, you can click this uh, gear icon and delete the page. Okay, again it will ask you, just press click delete. Okay, now tour, if you click on it, it will give me the tour option, which is fine videos it will show me all the videos here okay for now it is fine and then otherwise what you can do you can just click on any one of the videos and you can change the videos by clicking manage videos okay. if you press on manage videos then it will show you some options here and you can upload the videos or you can use any uh link of these website like i will use maybe the uh youtube video link so maybe let's search for some metaholic uh two three different videos So I will just paste it here. Add video. Okay, so it will be added. Now I want to add another video. So I have to go to the add video YouTube. Okay. Because the one that I already added is now there. That is for the first time when you're doing. But next time it will give you, you have to add from here because first time you added this like the way i did it but next time 
that option will be removed so i will go back here add video youtube link and then i can go here paste it and add okay now i'm done here and then i can go back now one issue is that it is giving me an option of upgrade because if i will press upgrade here i have to pay because this website is for free but some options you have to pay for them and one of the options i guess is the video library so i don't think i can add the video library without paying them so if i close it uh actually yeah it added there so that's fine that's good okay it's already added now music uh, you, if you have any music, I don't have any music right now, so I will keep it as it is. About, you can write about yourself. Okay. Now, how to change any any one of these texts? But to change the text, you just have to click one time, and when you click it, it will give you the title. You can change the title as you like. Subtitle, if you want to change, maybe uh, I will write here. Uh, that is rock band okay and here you can change it now good thing is that whatever you select it's highlighted here so that you know what you're changing okay now in the end you have the image or image from here so you can change the image from here or from here because if you want to change from here you have to click again and it will take you to the image option so you can change the position of the image also like you want a full image so it will give you a full image option the way you want it right now we are using this format so maybe you want to use this format or maybe this format so whatever format you want maybe i want this format so i will select this format and it will change it to that totally up to you okay so now i have this i can click on this one okay replace it and I can go to my site files and I can choose any one of these video. Maybe I will choose this one and apply. So it will just make it something like this. Okay. Now, if you know that we are working on ADI or base website, ADI means I cannot remove these images anywhere. I can only change the uh, like these types. But if I was using a normal uh like a video ed like a website editor uh, option which we will do in the next class then you are able to move these and customize yourself but that is little bit uh advanced especially for those who are working on the website for the first time now i'm done with the uh about so i will go back to the pages now i can go to the news okay so news updates i have these images i will keep it as as it is reviews so reviews will give me something like this so i will keep it as it is or suppose i want some reviews i can click on this okay and it will give me all these options here like i have this one this one this one it's all in the list what if you want to remove some of these or what if you want to add some here so you can add an item here but i don't want to add an item these are enough but what if i want to change any one of these suppose i want to uh, change electric picks so if i click on the electric picks it will show me this option and review code because there is no review or uh, item subtitle here so i can click on it so it will give me an item subtitle and review code if i will write here so it will give me a review code over here so that is also you can add it and all of them are pre-made you just have to edit if you want now button if you want to add you can press the button so there will be a read more button so which will take you to another website or like another page okay so that's what you will get so if you want to create a page for this you can press this button create a page for this item okay so i will press okay let's create a page for this item and it will make a page like this that's all okay now if i will go back to reviews okay one thing i can do because in the page which i just created 
uh, for this one let's click it here again i already have these option in the page what i created so i don't want this and this one here only what i need is read more button so if i will if i will press this one so it will take me to the page which i created from here and it will show me the item subtitle there review code there so now i don't need uh these items here because oh, oh, automatically if someone if if somebody wants to read about it he just have to press this then he will get the information not at the same time now if i will go to the page options here on the top i have that electronic picks here if i will go there it will show me that now i can change this image or whatever you want but i want but i want to keep it as it is i don't want to change anything anymore now suppose you are done with this whole thing and you want to see how your website looks like some notifications are given you here improve your image so that means get a better image resolution it it gives you some like kind of tips to because sometimes what happens people who have never worked on the website they might be thinking like why this is happening why are my images are not clear my why my music quality is not clear so to avoid that it keep on it's uh, it always gives you some tips and that you can find in the notification now some of the features as i told you before does not uh, it it does not provide for free website creation so you can do upgrade if you want some option otherwise it's a it's free okay now one of the things that it will give you is a domain because you cannot uh, get a domain like www.metaholic.com because that is not free what you will get is that www.wix.com slash website slash metaholic so it will be a long name so that's you have to keep in mind now once you are done if you want to see how things are you just press the preview button and it will show you your website here this is how the website will look like okay so okay one more thing is that let's go back here now whatever page you have selected preview that page i don't want to preview this page i want to preview from the home page so i will click on the home page then i will preview so now it will show me how the website will look like so if i will press uh, if i will scroll down everything will be there it's just you can preview that uh, okay and if i want to go to book online it will take me to the book online page okay if i will take if i will go to the tour it will to take me to the tour page The page is loading right now and show me like this so if you are done then you can go to edit or directly you can press the publish button what does the publish mean publish means your website will be ready it will be online and if you can view at this website okay so it is also giving me some tips like publish your website if you're done it's great time to go live now why it is giving me because it knows i have already uh, add, added everything that it required plus i have pressed the preview button so that means my website is ready for publishing so that's why it's giving me another notification here so what i can do here is that i can just press publish okay now this will be the website name okay this is what the website name will be this long name if you don't want that you can buy a domain so but you have to pay for it okay so now what i will do is that i will press publish and continue i am uh i am uh like satisfied with this uh like domain name so i don't have to i'm I, i'm not worrying about this too much so i'll just press publish and continue otherwise if you want your own you have to buy your own so there are different uh, options so it will take a little time to publish and once it is done it will say you are done congratulations it is published your website is online to view your website you have to press this view button as soon you will do that it will here okay now this link I will put this here inside the chat window so you can also visit on your computer also.
Okay. Now, this is all working website. Moving down, you have everything here. Okay. So I can go to the book online tour. You can go to the tours here. You can go to their YouTube channel. If you click on this, it will take you to the YouTube channel of Metaholic. Okay. And this will be your website address. And this is, you cannot change it unless you pay for it. Okay. So this is what uh, it is all about. And I hope everything is clear. Is any question regarding this? And uh, keep in mind, we have created the website using Wix ADI, which is automatically create like website creation tool. Now, if you're done, you just press, it will take you to back there. And at any time you can shift from, now see you have a lot of notifications here. Okay, so that you can, uh, it's just giving you some options that you can link this, you can link this, you have to do this, just so that you can make your website much more better. Okay. Now, anytime you can switch from ADI to editor, and you have you have this the button here, go to editor, and if you click on it, it will show you that this is how the editor will look like. You can make your own website by moving it out. So if you want to stay in ADI, you can stay in ADI, or if you want to switch to editor, you can just click here and it will take you to the editor. Okay. The editor is a bit uh, like uh, advanced, okay, especially for those who are working for, uh, who are making the website for the first time. Okay, now here, when you are in the editor, Okay, it will give you a small introductory video like how you can edit. Uh, for now, we can close it. But here you have the menu and pages, all everything about it. You can add page, you can remove, you can have some transitions here, page transitions. Okay, so these all we will uh, go through in our next lesson and we will make a website using the editor. Okay. So we will use the editor and we will see how we can work with the editor. And you can see now, Anything that you select, you can move it uh, just like the way you want it. Like suppose I don't want it here, I want it here. So I can move it anywhere I like. I don't want this text. So like I, I think my maybe my button is uh, like have too much gap between these. So maybe I can move this button a little bit up and I can take this one and move this one a little bit up also and reduce the gap here or make the button bigger or smaller, it's up to you. Maybe I don't like this image, uh, it's too small. So I can maybe uh, change the size of this image so I can make this image a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, totally up to you. So these kind of changes you can do with the help of your uh, editor. Okay. Like suppose if you want to change the image here or change the background or change the image scrolling effect, okay? So these kind of things you can do with the editor, but not with the ADI. ADI is very simplest form. Okay, so but next class we will move to the editor. A little bit advanced. So we will go through in detail, see what, what do we have here. Okay. So there is uh, one thing which uh, Harshit Malik is explaining that there is one more website, Webflow. Webflow is also like uh, like a really good uh, like website builder tool tool. Uh, but if you oh, if you're creating a, through ADI, then Wix uh, have a better ADI system. Uh, Webflow have a better uh, editing system. So it's basically your choice if you like wherever you like it. Okay, so you can use that. Uh, Vix, the reason I am teaching Vix is that because they have a better ADI system. So if you are going through an ADI system, then uh, I think Vix is like better. Like Webflow is good also, especially if you are using their uh, editor, uh, then it's, it's much, more, much more better. But they don't have an ADI system. ADI, uh, you might only find in few other websites and one of the websites is, uh, is the Vix. So uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, 
we'll meet in our next class and we will uh, check uh, and we will work on the uh, VIX editor in our next class and uh, we will learn in more in detail like how the editor actually works. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. Uh, I will take off now. So thanks for joining the class and uh, we'll meet uh, next time uh, on Tuesday and uh, till then take care of yourself and uh, bye from, from now.